All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night, in the dusty recesses of their minds, wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. Up. Enjoying yourself, pal? Oh, yeah, you're a comedian. Nice warm welcome. They're both clean. My apologies. One can't be too careful. I'm guessing you're Talbot. Mr. Sullivan. And Mr. Drake. That's right. Do you have it? Let's, uh... See the money first. Cut out. It's all there. Now let's see it. I'll need to authenticate it. Of course. Silver. 16th century, Elizabethan design, inscribed with Sir Francis Drake's motto. Well, it appears to be genuine. Well, of course it's genuine. If I may ask, how did you two come into this? Does it matter? <laughs> My client will be very pleased. Hold on a minute. Sully, this is fake. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Oh, oh, you are right. This is phony as a $3 bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. The deal's off, pal. And you? You can tell your client. You blew it. Come on, Nate, let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. Now give me the ring, take the case, and walk out of here like gentlemen. While you still can. Do as the man says, son. You're a thief. Well, now, that's ironic. you might don't stay down hello Victor Kate still wallowing in the gutter with your protege I see not very dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Oh, careful now. Wouldn't want you to melt. 
<laughs> Same cocky little shit. So fearless. I wonder what you're really afraid of. Not bullets or blood or broken bones. No. You get off on all this, don't you? Cheating death? Or not? No. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. Give me that back. Cut her! Oh no. Oh. Shut, Shut up. up! You fool! Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Marlow, we have to get you out of here. Oh, come on. They're a right pair of arseholes. What? Te agarré, ratita callejera. Suelte, perro. Clase de gente no es bienvenida aquí. Quédate afuera. Pendejo. Aquí lo tiene. That's a ticket. Gracias. Adiós, amigo. Let's try that again. Let go of me. Ah, that's what I thought. Now don't try to run. You're a long way from home, son. Don't call me that. Parents must be worried about you. <laughs> yeah, not likely. Okay, sore subject. That was a nice lift back there. You're pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, old man. Hey, don't call me that. The technique is really sloppy, though. You're telegraphing all your moves. You're crazy. Yeah? 
You've been tailing me all over town. Probably figured me for an easy mark. But you picked the wrong guy, pal. Uh, uh. What? My wallet. Fine. Maybe we'll just call the police. Go ahead. Of course, they might wonder why a middle-aged tourist is following young boys down alleyways. <laughs> you are a crafty little beggar, aren't you? I know how to take care of myself. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you don't like the cops any more than I do. Good point. Kid. The wallet. Had to try. Of course you did. Telegraphing all my moves, huh? Look who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Now, the ring. What ring? Who do you think you are, boy? You're nothing but a filthy, cast-off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. Stop him! Look what we have here. <laughs> Whoops. Are you all right? What are you shaking for? Just close your eyes. This won't hurt a bit. Safe here. Go on. Suit yourself. You don't want it. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? <laughs> you gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister, no offense, but 
but I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Sullivan. This should be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was gonna take it from you, I would have done it by now. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis Mem... Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah, uh, so like a boarding school. That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for them. Look, kid, a client wants something, I obtain it for a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. Look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, hey, well, anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen big. Like millions in plunder treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That big? That big. And that decoder has something to do with it. I would bet my life on it. Oh, swell. And Marlowe's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate, then? For now. <laughs> so you still haven't told me what your name is? And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Okay. Look, you got talent, but you got a lot to learn. You stick with me, and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks. But I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah, clearly. What do you say we uh, try this again? My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Drake, huh? <laughs> okay. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things. <laughs> no. And... They're gone. All right, lads? <laughs> oh, God. I thought you were going to put a silencer on that thing. Sally, you've got no sense of drama. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. All that racket's going to bring the cops any minute. Let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> Could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean? I hardly touched you. You headbutted me. All right. I got a little swept up in the moment. Uh, you were the one who said make it look realistic. Better stay on his good side. <laughs> All right, Brad Ice, look sharp. They're coming your way. Don't lose them. <sighs> Told you they'd take the bait. How long do you reckon before they realize this is a fake? Who cares? 
finally flushed them out. And now we just follow them back to their hole. You do realize you make everything sound dirty. I do? You should be more careful with your head, you know it. <laughs> Evening, lads. All right, darling. <sighs> Looks like hell spit you two back out. Ah, uh, it was a thing of beauty, Chloe. Yeah, I went off without a hitch. You're unusually quiet. What's up your bum? Oh, well, Charlie seemed to enjoy himself a little bit too much for there my taste. Go. <laughs> my ears are still ringing. Oh, for God's sake. Helps if you have something in between. <laughs> oh, it looks like I missed out on some fun. Yeah, you did, actually. It was very, very uh, cathartic. Yeah, it's funny. Do you have any trouble? No. <sighs> Easy peasy. And you're sure they didn't see you trailing them? Not a chance. So, which door's scary pop inside him behind? Behind that one there. The green one. They drove in ages ago, and it's been dark ever since. You think they're still in there? Well, I haven't taken my eyes off it. And no one's gone in or out. Hmm. Think these are really necessary? I mean, it's not like they're expecting us. Don't underestimate these blokes. They're not messing about. Hey, we're just gonna sneak in, and we sneak out. Just like that. Yeah, fair enough. But any trouble, you shoot first and ask questions later, all right? And the guy says, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now i got to catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job? Well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D.'s signature. Who the hell's John D.? John D., one of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, he was a great mathematician and navigator. Okay, way ahead of his time, he's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look, 007. Not really that relevant. So it was John D. who sent Drake to Arabia. Yeah, it looks that way. Dean and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great, but what for? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia... Great film. He was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and the Crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every Crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Well, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubalkali Desert. Right here. Well... <laughs> I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubalkali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian script. Sabian script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. Oh. 
No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? It's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Oh. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Into the line, I guess. Don't. <laughs> Looks like we're going the rest of the way on foot. <laughs> what? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. Hey, Nate. Square Tower. Looks pretty old. Yeah. That matches the one in Lawrence's notebook. That must be it. Nice. Hey. Oh, crap. They're here somewhere. Hunt them down. Hey. Look at this. What the hell? It's one of Talbot's men. It was? But that's impossible. They just got here. Yeah, but what could have happened to him? I have no idea, but I sure as hell don't like him. Sabian's script again. But what are these symbols? Looks like he was trying to work something out. There's some sort of message written here in a Nakian script. This is it. Here, hold this, will you? Sure. Look, it's some sort of amulet. There's something written here. Gonna do this right on top of Lancelot, huh? Uh huh. It's in Sabean's script. Well, that'd be from ancient Yemen, all right? Yeah. Exactly where Francis Drake would have landed back in the 16th century. Could be the name of a city? Yeah, from 3,000 years ago. Without the rest of that inscription, we still don't know where to look. Well, let's hope the other half is in Syria. Yeah, and the Cutter and Chloe can find it. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't recommend that. Shit. Nice work, gentlemen. Harris, please relieve Mr. Drake of the artifact. Yeah, Harris. Come get it. <laughs> now, it's hardly worth dying over, is it? Your friend doesn't think so. Come on, Nate. seems to be dying out. Good luck with that. God, what a dick. Right? We gotta find a way out of here fast. Stay close. Jump! Get it off! Get it off! All right, you're clear. Huh? Yeah. How about me? Turn around. Oh, you're good. You okay? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's not. Go back in there. I think that's a good idea. <clears throat> Empty those cans. Every last drop. 
the hell are they doing? Burn the whole place down! Oh no. <laughs> That was close, huh? You all right? Oh, yeah. <coughs> Just swell. Here, just give me a sec. You always seem to forget. I got 25 years on you. Come on, Sully. You're strong as an ox. Anyway, what's the hurry? They think we're in that. We almost were. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm losing the plot here. Remind me again why we're doing this? No, 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 no. If you're gearing up for one of your I'm too old for this speeches, spare me. Nate, these guys are playing for keeps. Yeah, so? What, you're just gonna roll over for them now? Nobody's talking about rolling over. Then quit acting like you're ready to lay down and die, all right? Listen, kid. I've had you back for 20 years. I'm not going anywhere, obviously. I just want to make sure we're doing this for the right reasons. You got your pride all tangled up in this thing. It's making you reckless. I taught you better than that. You're gonna get yourself killed. Oh, damn. <laughs> Hell. Probably get us all killed. Oh, no. What? Cutter and Chloe. Sully, if we were followed... Oh, shit. Chances are they were, too. We gotta warn them. Yeah, and get to Syria fast. Sure hope you remember where we left the car, because I am completely turned around. Damn it. Still can't reach either one of them. Something is definitely not right. How long till this place opens? We got a few more hours before the tour buses start showing up. Then we better hustle. Chain's been cut. Okay, so we know we're not the first ones here. Yeah, as long as Marlowe and Talbot think we're dead, we got the element of surprise. It's not wasted. Right. So, we sneak in. We find out where they're holding Chloe and Cutter. If they're holding them. Glass half full, Sully. I'm just saying, these guys don't seem like the hostage-taken type. Let's just go with best-case scenario for now, okay? We rescue Cutter and Chloe, and the four of us just sneak back out. Yeah, right. Sneak back out. It could happen. Mm-hmm. Oh! What the hell? Why aren't you in France? We're rescuing you? From what? We thought you were captured. Or worse. Wait, why? <laughs> uh, well, uh, Talbot ambushed us at the Chateau. It was a trap. Yeah, we figured they must have followed you, too. Well, yeah, they're definitely here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So we might want to think about keeping it down a little. Uh, what happened to you two? We've been trying to reach you for over 24 hours. Oh, right, I need to top up my minutes. You're using a prepaid phone? Mate, those contracts are a complete rip-off. <laughs> what? Mine's broken. Again? Look, just forget all that. You'll never guess what we've discovered. I've got it all in here. <laughs> Not only did Elizabeth's spy network stretch all the way over here, 
but they were all part of some sort of hermetic secret society. The British Occult Secret Service, the School of Night, the Hellfire Club, the Order of the Golden Dawn, they're all connected. So John D. And Francis Walsingham and Walter Raleigh and even your mate Drake, they were all in on it. But for them, it was all about the power. Controlling their enemies through espionage, deception, fear. Hey, guys. Wait, 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 wait. So Marlowe and her crew are the same secret order 400 years on. We cut to the goddamn chase, please. Yeah, we really need to keep moving. Sure, sure. Here, look. Quad est superius. As secret quod est inferius. As above, so below. That's the key to all of this. We need to get to the highest point of this castle. <laughs> Thus, the stairs. Well done. There, that's the highest tower. Okay, so we just need to make our way Look across. Out. Oh shit, bollocks. Get down. <sighs> now what? All right, the only way to the tower is through them. Great. Whatever happened to that sneak-in, sneak-out plan? You what? We can't quit now. Yeah, not when we're so close. Come on, we'll find a way around them. Ha <laughs> <laughs> right, ha, here. You see? As above, so below. We're definitely in the right spot. Yeah, yeah, but the right spot for what? Well, the Crusaders would have hidden the entrance to the crypt somewhere in plain sight. Wait a sec. Yeah, look. That same symbol appears on Drake's map. Right next to this. Of course, Ursa Minor, the North Star. The one fixed point in the night sky. So if we follow that down to the castle, what do you bet it points right to our hidden entrance? Can I see that? Yeah, yeah. I want it back, though. Oh. This is a... Yes. Oh. I knew it couldn't be that simple. Wait, wait, wait. wait. It, it wasn't a storage room a thousand years ago. No, 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 mate. We are missing something. Hey, hold on, hold on. The statues, you see? One hand up, one hand down. Yeah. Look, above, below. It's the same theme again and again. So, just another breadcrumb on the trail? Oh, it certainly looks that way. Let me see the scope again. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Oh. No. Give it to me. Good. Now the journal. Thank you. Don't trust Drake. How's Charlie? Who knows? No, no, no! Charlie, you okay? Huh? Charlie? What the hell? <laughs> Look at this. Man, what kind of black ops bullshit is this? Let's just hope he didn't have a big dose. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Easy now. Look at me. Charlie, right here. Come on, we gotta move now, okay? Just don't touch me. Get away from me. All right, all right. No one's touching you, Charlie. What the hell was in that dart? Your face is peeling off. Well, whatever it was, he's tripping balls. Charlie, listen. <gasps> Hey, you're okay. Get up! I won't let you take me. Hey, nobody's taking you anywhere. Just, just come with us, okay? Yeah. Oh, no. The floor's melting. We can't stay here. We gotta move. How? Our only hope is to find the crypt entrance. Great. Any ideas? Well, Charlie was onto something. I just don't know what. The wand of the magician. Without his journal, we're never gonna find it. Just... Charlie! No! Dude, stop! Charlie, cut her! Please, 
Charlie! 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 No! Get what back! Are you? Don't! Charlie, you're killing Nate. Okay, you gotta listen to me. You are killing Nate. Charlie! <coughs> Jesus. Here. Here we go. I'm all right. Here we go. I'm all right. Shoot me, will you, mate? Like a rabid dog. Wow. Let's try this again. I'll go first this time. Ugh, shit. Right, follow me. No, no. I'm not turning my back on you just yet. After you. Huh. I know you'd be putting that gun to the back of my head telling me about the rabbits. <laughs> hey, play nice, boys. Yeah, come on. You're almost through. Come on. Hey, hey. Is that the water? I'm not sure. Oh, no. Please, please tell me that you see them, too. Oh, yeah, I see them. Whatever you do, don't let them touch you. Really? Just stay in the firelight. What do you do? You should be able to make it over that brazier if I run for it. You won't. I'll clear the way for you once I get there. If you get there, you're mental. We have to get the water flowing. You have a better idea? Is that it? Yeah. Just like the one in France. Amazing. Yeah, brilliant. Let's get it open. There it is. What did I tell you? Let's see the other half. Yeah, about that, uh, Talbot has it. What? I, yeah, I told you how he ambushed us at the Chateau. That's when he took it. Well, why did we even bother then? Hold on. Give me a little credit. Here. There. You see? <laughs> and with the inscription complete, we know exactly where to go in Yemen. Thank you very much. Nicely done. Yeah, yeah, all the same. I think I'll hold on to this one. <laughs> all right, let's get the hell out of here. Keep looking. They have to be here somewhere. Shit. They must have followed us. We better hope there's another way out of here. Hey. Drop your weapons. Yeah, I don't think so. Well then. What a dilemma. We seem to be equally matched. Until the rest of my men show up, that is. We can wait. Oh, no. Guys? Charlie? Oh, God damn it. Well, that changes things a bit, doesn't it? Now drop your guns. Why don't you go cut and shoot him? No. Wait. Just stop. Okay? Better, isn't it? Shoot him. You son of a bitch. Cutter, pull the trigger. My pleasure. Run! Shit. Come on, Cutter. You can't make it. Okay, what can we do? What can we do? Charlie. What the hell? <laughs> you didn't get very far, did you? Hand it over. Piss off. There's nothing we can do.
do, kid? Jesus, this is unbearable. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, Carter. I had such high hopes for you. <laughs> yeah, right. It's true. You had potential. Now, well, it's funny how things work out, isn't it? You betray my trust, and now we find ourselves here. As if it were in the cards all along. Charlie Dodd. Shit. Shit. No. No. Hurry! Go! Uh, uh, Charlie! Oh, shit! Bollocks! Don't move! Don't move! Jesus, my leg! Don't touch it! It's broken! I know it's broken. Just easy does it, mate. Hang on. Nate, look at this. Oh, what the hell? This way! Okay, we can't stay here. Oh, just leave me the gun. I'll kill those bastards. No way. We're getting you out of here. Come on, get up. I got him. You, got him? you cover us. Okay. Go! Uh... The bus. We're taking the bus. Well, that won't attract any attention. Morning. Not worth the price of admission, folks. Here we go. One, two, two. and a boy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Right here. All right. I got this. You take care of him. Uh, here they come. Sully, get us out of here. Looks like we lost him. All right. I'll find some place to ditch the bus. Great. You doing all right? Oh, fabulous. <laughs> that was too close. He'll be okay. No, I mean the whole thing. It just isn't worth it, Nate. Let this one go. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't just give up. If you let these bastards win, after this, I will never bloody forgive you. Don't you worry, Charlie. There's no way I'm letting them win. What is it with you? What are you trying to prove? I'm not trying to prove anything. So it's a plan, kid. Uh, I guess I'm going to Yemen. You up for it? <laughs> of course I am. All right, we gotta find a quick way in. No hassles. Think I might know someone we could call. Who? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. You got a better idea, I'm all ears. <sighs> what about... No. Fine. Make the call. <sighs> Elena Fisher, foreign correspondent. <laughs> hey, Sully. How you doing, sweetheart? Oh, no. Sorry, that's sort of frowned upon here. Oh, right. You two can hold hands, though. <laughs> How are you, Elena? Good, thanks. You, uh, you look great. So, against my better judgment, these permits will get you through most checkpoints. Okay, great. Oh, and I shouldn't be worried about what's in those bags, right? <laughs> of course not. No. Yeah, not yet, anyway. <laughs> All right, remember, you're journalists now. So try and act respectable. Think you can handle that? I think she's talking to you. <laughs> so what exactly are you two reprobates up to? Uh, it's just a little historical research. Right, so that explains the big rush. Exactly. First liar. What? 
You are. Oh, come on. We're not going to start Excuse this, me. are we? Just... The car, where is it? Oh, it's over there. I'll just take the bags and meet you. Nate. You're see? still wearing it. I, yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. It helps in this part of the world. Oh, really? Seriously? Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> I see you're still wearing yours. What? Oh, oh, yeah. That's what this is all about, isn't it? You don't understand. I finally proved it. Drake lied about his route through the East Indies. 400 years ago, he came here. Why, Nate? That's what we're here to find out. No, I mean, why this obsession? I'm... I'm just worried. I can take care of myself, all right? I'm not talking about you. <laughs> what, Sully? He would go to the ends of the Earth for you, Nate. Just don't ask him to. Come on, that's not fair. What is that even supposed to mean? All set? You could just drop us at the edge of the city, that'd be great. Not a chance. You two are my responsibility now. I'm not taking my eyes off of you. Huh. Okay, it looks like they got the street blocked off. I'll go see what I can do. You two just stay here. Hey. She's still wearing it. Oh, yeah. Apparently it helps in this part of the world. What does that mean? I don't know. <clears throat> so? All right, it's no good. They're not letting anybody through. Let's try over here. <laughs> See, down there. Those buildings would have been hundreds of years old, even when Francis Drake was alive. Right. Good thinking. Hey, Nate. Huh? Talbot. Who? He's got Cutter's notebook. What? Wait, what? Charlie Cutter? Yeah, no time. Sully can explain everything. Hey, wait a minute. Meet you down there. Just couldn't leave it alone, could you? Come here. Not a complete loss. Get him. Hey, you boys. Hey, through here. Somebody gonna fill me in here? Who are those guys? And what does Charlie have to do with all this? He was working with us on this one. Wait, what was? He's not dead. No, no. Him and Chloe. Wait, Chloe too? Yeah, but they both bowed out when Cutter broke his leg. He broke his leg? He's lucky he didn't break his damn neck or fall like that. He's fine. Just between that and burning to death, I think I would have jumped too. Not helping. All right, just tell me what you're really looking for. Uh, this? <laughs> Come here. Sully, check this out. I think we lost him. What do you got? It looks like we stumbled right into our secret entrance. Well, that's our girl. Well, not going down there without some hardware. Go talk to that rug merchant we just passed. Oh, well, guns, weapons. He's not really a rug merchant. Oh, <laughs> right. Hey, just uh, watch yourself out there, okay? Yeah. All right, Seriously, what is all this crap Nate, no, you're giving me you about Sully? with me. Those guys are not here for historical research, and neither are you. Th this is about that Marlowe woman, isn't it? Yes, but look at this. I finally got it. And it's just like I said. That led to this. And this... Let us hear. To a hole in the ground. Oh, it's a glamorous life. 
Come on, admit it. You love all this as much as I do. No. No, not anymore. Really? Huh. Okay, well, why don't you just, uh, walk away? Oh, me? Me walk away. <laughs> That's funny. Shotguns? Why not? What the? What? He only had two. <sighs> Great. All right, just give me a hand with this. All right, ready? <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> uh, it's cute. What? Because it's a well. Shall we? Well, I'll be go to hell. Wow. As above, so below. Sully, this is some kind of celestial map. That makes sense. The Arabs used the stars to navigate the desert just like sailors on the ocean. That's right. So you could use these constellations to find the site of the lost city. If I had a sextant, sure. I didn't do all that time in the Navy for nothing, you know. <laughs> in here, I thought you spent the whole time looking for that basket act. <laughs> the what? Uh, never mind. <laughs> hey, you think you could remember this? Well, yeah, but we ought to copy it down, don't you think? Uh, no, I really don't recommend that. Hey, guys, look at this. Well, oh, that's, uh, cheery. Do you hear that? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Wait, what is that? Get away from the walls. Hold on to that torch, kid. Oh, oh crap. More than enough of those damn things. Wait, you knew about them? You're planning on telling me, right? Hey. Look at this. Let not the world deceive thee with its beauty. It is the dream of a dreamer. A mirage of the desert. The cup of death will be filled for thee. Lovely. It's all in English. Yeah. Yeah, it must have been Drake. Okay, so, so let me get this straight. Drake sails thousands of miles looking for this Atlantis of the Sands. And when he gets this far... What he finds here is enough to make him turn around, sail home, and hide all evidence of his voyage. Right. But you... You're gonna keep going, aren't you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and for what? For treasure? Sully, he listens to you. Please make him stop. Yes, Sully, please tackle me. <laughs> <laughs> What is wrong with you two? Elena, come on, we're just joking around. Listen, you've won, okay? You've outsmarted her. You know where to find the city, and Marlo doesn't. Why can't that be enough? <laughs> <laughs>